so now we will see the pre layout and post layout of ring oscillator using align so go to ring oscillator folder and here i created two folders align uh, and access cam so in access cam go to terminal and uh, type access cam to open the access cam tool so it is open now so go to file and create new schematic now go to tools here is a uh, insert symbol option and now go to sky 130 library and sky 130 fdpr now search for nfit 01v8.svm and click ok now left click zoom to it now we have to change the width and number of FETs here uh, from 1 to 2.1 uh, and number of FETs to 2 uh, it is required for uh, it align so now we have to duplicate the selection uh, and left click we can duplicate it by uh, click on it uh, click on the uh, and type C okay uh, so now shift I for open the choose symbol option now search for pfit 01v8.svm click on ok now again we have to change the width and, and number of FETs width is 2.1 and number of FETs is 2 and then press ok now C again press C and left click now we have to do the wiring by pressing w and left click w left click w left click so we have to do the wiring by pressing w connect the drain of nfed and bfits now connect the gates terminals of nfit and pfit okay, now connect the first inverter output to second and second to third and third to the output and uh, here we are connecting the uh, vdds of all the three pfits and here we are connecting the ground of uh, ground to the source of all m and n fits okay and now we have to connect the output to the first uh, inverter input okay it is completed uh, so now we have to go to symbols and go to the access cam uh, library devices then search for uh, ground symbol gnd.svm click ok now connect the ground symbol to the source of the nfit now again shift i now search for the vdd dot svm click ok it will be connected to the source of uh, pfits ok now it is connected now we have to go to vsource dot svm and left click now connect the ground and the vdd to the vsource here we will give the 1.8 volt to the vdd ok now Press shift i and search for old pin open.svm click ok and connect to the output and change the name to x access to output out ok now press shift i and search for code shown code underscore shown dot svm uh, and press left click now we have to change s1 to library as we are going to insert the library and just type the same commands if you are following the me from starting so 
type dot lev slash usr slash local slash pd share slash pdk slash sky 130a slash libs dot tech slash ng spice then slash sky 130 dot lib dot spice space td now okay select it type m and move it to this okay now again press shift i and select the code dot underscore shown uh, and left click now we are going to write the spice netlist here so give it name spice and here's some um, inverted commas and type dot control save all and the next line in tron 0.01 and nanoseconds to uh, 3 nanosecond and then plot out and then cut and c dot and c and click ok ok now press ctrl s and change the name uh, to ring underscore oscillator you can give any name to the file click ok now go to options and select a spice netlist and click on netlist and simulate uh, it will take some time to simulate the ng spice so here is the pre layout uh, output for ring oscillator now close it and just close it and close the access cam and go to the home directory and go to dot access cam and then simulations here you will find the dot spice file just copy it now go to your access cam folder here paste the copied file okay now let's see what is there okay here's the spice netlist uh, for the schematic we have created in access cam uh, so let's close it and just copy it and go to your align folder uh, align public folder and then align pdk scan it then go to examples here create a new folder with a name ring oscillator and then paste the copied file here and now change the name from dot spice to dot sp extension as align only take the dot sp extension as input files so here we have to do some changes just remove the simulated files okay now we have to change the length uh, to 0 0.15 to 150 e to the power minus 9 because a line takes only in the format of e to the power minus 9 and for width we will change to e to the power minus 7 so you have to uh, write this in the same format because a line only take in length in the power uh, e to the power minus 9 format and width in e to the power minus 7 format so we have to change all the mosfets for uh, with the same length and width okay now it is completed just save the file and close it just take the json file from this and paste it here in the ring oscillator folder and change the name to ring oscillator dot const dot json now open the file 
and just change the VSS to GND. Now go to align public repository and open the terminal here and just type uh, python m when general and then wait source general slash bin slash activate to activate the general now go to the work folder cd work now type this schematic to layout.py and give the part to the ring oscillator.sp file uh, which is in align pdk and then examples then ring oscillator folder and then we have to give the part to pdk uh, so here we have sky 130 pdk and then press enter okay it will take some time okay now it is created uh, so go to your work folder and here you will find three files of ring oscillator dot lf dot gds and dot python dot gds now copy these files and go to the folder uh, it's cutting oscillate folder and then align and then paste here Open. or you can see first see the uh, gds file in the k layout okay here you can see that uh, ports and other things okay now close it and open the terminal here and type magic it will take technology automatically to sky 130 as we have given the dot magic rc file now go to file read gds now click on dot gds file and open it now click s and then click x to see the uh, MOSFETs now click S yes. to select all the ok now go to TK uh, con and type extract to local and extract all then X to spice uh, C thresh 0 and R thresh 0 and now ext to spice and enter now we have created the spice file from the now close it okay so now we have created the spice file okay here it is here we have to do some changes uh, just we have to first remove these floating values and here we have to remove this and this okay now minimize it and go to xscam folder where we have the dot spice pre layout spice file here copy the simulation values from v1 vdd2 dot uh, ends now copy this and paste in our post layout file okay just type x1 and then we have to give the sub circuit from this copy and then paste here and then we have to give the vdd g and d and out now go to and and like dot e and ds okay now after x1 just copy these vdd g and d and out ports paste it after x1 and then call this ring oscillator okay it is done now just save this file okay minimize it and go to the align folder and open the terminal here and type ng spice and ring oscillator underscore zero dot spice and hit enter mm, okay now 
you can see the post layout simulation of ring oscillator it is the same as the pre layout okay